Imagine a civilization that, over a thousand years ago, built water systems so advanced that they still function today. This is the story of ancient Sri Lanka and its revolutionary hydraulic engineering. Sri Lanka, an island nation in the Indian Ocean, has long been known for its lush landscapes and monsoon rains. But for the ancient Sinhalese civilization, survival required more than rainfall. It required control over water. As early as 300 BCE, kingdoms in Sri Lanka, like Anuradhapura, developed complex irrigation systems to manage the monsoon floods and seasonal droughts. These weren't simple canals. They were ingenious reservoirs, dams, and channels designed to store and distribute water across vast areas. The centerpiece of this system was the tank, a large man-made reservoir. Engineers created networks connecting tanks with canals, ensuring water could flow from one reservoir to the next, even across long distances. This allowed rice cultivation in areas that would otherwise have been barren. What's remarkable is that these reservoirs were built without modern machinery. The ancient engineers relied on earthworks, gravity, and careful observation of the land. Some tanks, like the Parakrama Samudra, could hold hundreds of millions of liters of water, supporting thousands of farmers. Beyond agriculture, these water systems supported thriving cities, temples, and trade. They turned the island into a self-sufficient civilization capable of enduring centuries of droughts, invasions, and natural disasters. In part two, we'll explore the technologies and innovations that made Sri Lanka's ancient water systems so advanced and why they continue to amaze engineers today.